Native fish numbers in the Murray-Darling Basin have dwindled since European settlement and loss of habitat is a big concern. A group of volunteers in the Riverland is hoping to reverse this by installing hundreds of so-called fish hotels in a major waterway. On the shores of Barmer's Lake Bonnie, a small army of men is hard at work. We tried to get a grant uh, this year but we, we failed so we're just doing it off our own back. This group of environmentalists and fishermen is creating up to 200 wooden structures that imitate tree stumps and branches. These fish hotels are the ideal homes for many native species, which need shelter for breeding and nesting. So they can come through Napa's Bridge up Chambers Creek from one little reef to the next and uh, navigate their way along the foreshore of the lake and these structures hopefully will hold the native fish in the lake. The structures will also give native fish an advantage over introduced species, such as the European carp. It's like a seesaw. If you can get the native fish up, uh, the native fish will um, counter the uh, uh, breeding program of the uh, carp. In fact, the work's being funded by the proceeds of a carp fishing competition. The proponents of this project say it'll have two main benefits for Lake Bonnie. One is to provide a habitat for native fish like Murray Cod and Callip. The other is to encourage tourists and anglers to keep coming back. And even today sometimes we still get people asking, is there water in Lake Bonnie? It's, it's very important to keep this, the lake in the habitat that it's at. The group hopes native fish will be quick to check in to their new accommodation. Tom Fedorovich, ABC News, The Riverland.